Don't forget to check out the website, guys. Be sure to buy yourself some of my awesome merch to rock up to the car boots in. And also check out the helpful guides and blog posts. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another haul video. So, um, a few days ago now for you, I'm trying, I'm trying to think when it would be. Um, it was actually only about three hours ago for myself, but for you guys it'll probably be uh, a few days ago. I got this haul from the auction for £40 plus commission and it was a load of ceramics. And I think I said... I don't know whether I said at the start of the video how much sales value I was going to make off it or whatever. But, you know, it was a decent lot of stuff. It was going to make me some decent money, sales value and profit. And uh, I don't know, I can't remember, but I think maybe at the start of the video I mentioned that there could be a couple of other bits and bobs hiding in other bags and boxes. Um, because obviously certain things get mixed up um, when I'm taking them home from the auction house because... In these particular lot, these particular job lots that were on the tables and didn't have specific boxes, um, I basically box them up in my own boxes with bubble wrap, and things can get mixed around. Um, so that's what happened, and these are all from that forty pound job lot still. So got a couple of nice bits to show you here. There's also a couple of standard bits. I'm then then going to go on to share with you a couple of books from the uh, book job lot that I will share with you in the next haul video but you see if I didn't share with you if I didn't split up that uh, book uh, job lot into two videos I wouldn't or if I didn't include that book job lot or part of that book job lot in this video even the, the ceramics here wouldn't be enough to really make a, a full video on their own or at least I don't think so um, so I thought I'd share that book job lot in over two videos kind of thing. So with that being said, I'll share with you the ceramics um, from, as I say, that £40 lot first, and then we'll get on with a few of these books. So first off, we've got these uh, Copeland Spode. Uh, these are one of these famous show jumpers, and this is number one and number two, I think. Yeah, number one, number one is on this one. Number two is on that one there. Um, don't quite know who they are. I'm not really into the whole, uh, you know, horses and stuff. Uh, Sun Slave with David Broom, this one. And then this one is uh, Tosca with Pat Smith. Um, so, yeah, that's those two there. I am, I've actually got the results up here. I've not got solds up. I've got complete completed listings up here. Uh, sorry, I've not got solds up. I've got active listings even. Um, one has sold, or randomly, Pat Smith, or Smythe, I don't know whether you pronounce it Smythe, um, Famous Show Jumpers number one plate has sold for 60 quid, but that is one that's done in colour, so I don't know what the difference is between this black and white one and the one that's done in colour, um, but I don't think that one would be that valuable. Um, I will just click into the listing very quickly. So I don't know, on the two, might have to do a very bit quick bit more research on solds and stuff just to make sure I'm not sure shooting myself in the foot with them um but it looks like this one will prop these two being the black and white ones are the less valuable ones and maybe i'll stick them on at like 12.99 plus postage maybe 14.99 plus postage on the two there um but yeah i will just do a, oh actually that's a shame there. i've just noticed that can you see that little chip there so i'll either have to mention that and downgrade the price a little bit from what i was actually thinking um or simply just not, or simply just sell one of them on their own or something. So that's a bit of a shame, but I, I probably will still sell it. Um, I'll just mention it and then downgrade the price a little bit because the other one seems to be in decent condition. So yeah, I'm probably gonna go twelve ninety nine, fourteen ninety nine on those. Um, yeah, I'm just not sure whether one of them maybe is worth a little bit more because of that one being the hand painted one there that's gone for sixty, but. Yeah, I think that that is just a simply a completely different variant that's gone for more money there. So, yeah, we'll see on them too anyway. I will do a bit more research just, just in case. Now, do you remember in uh, the last job lot, the, well, the last video with this job lot, there was these uh, Johnson Bros uh, Thanksgiving Historic America Frozen Up Plates. Uh, oh, sorry, one of them actually. And I was thinking, oh, it's not really worth doing on its own. Well, I uh, saw these in the bag and I thought, brilliant, there's probably a nice little set of different variants of them. And, you know, I can probably make 20 quid, 30 quid on a little set of these, you know, for three of them or something. Um, but it turns out, unfortunately, they're all just the same plate. So I don't know whether I could just, I suppose I could 
And I suppose, yeah, I suppose I could still sell a set of three of the same plate, but... I don't know, maybe, I, I suppose maybe I'll do that actually, but I was thinking it was, I was a little bit disheartened because I was thinking, oh well, is anyone really going to just want three of the same design plate? Because these collectible plates mainly, you know, someone's just going to have different ones up on on display or whatever. Um, they're not necessarily going to want three of the same one. Maybe, you know, dinner plates and things like that, of course people are going to want the, uh, like, the same one repeatedly. But for these type of things, I'm thinking maybe we don't. So I don't know. Maybe I will bundle them up together and get some money out of them. Um, and then it means that that one comes in use, you know, and I can actually sell it. Opposed for, uh, to it just kind of hanging around a little bit. Um, but yeah, so it's it's nice to find them in the job. Well, at least I've got another couple of them. But it would have been great if they were like similar series or the same series. But different design. But they're just the same design, unfortunately. So yeah, that's those there. Uh, next, we've got this. Um, now, I've not researched this because I automatically assumed that it would be worth no money. Um, and, you know, maybe it's bad of me to do so because maybe it is going to be worth a bit of money, this. Um, it's Queen Anne uh, there. Queen Anne there. Um, I've literally only looked at that mark uh, right now, so I didn't even know it was Queen Anne. Um, 29th of July, 1981, marriage of HRH, uh, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, and Lady Diana Spencer. Um, so yeah, plate there, it's got this kind of ridge design around here, which I like, I like these designs on plates, I, I don't know why, I just like them, um, I don't suppose it's going to be worth a lot of money, you know, commemorative wear, things like this, coronation wear and stuff, is not going to be worth tons of money, there's certain ones that are, as I've mentioned in the past, but I don't think this will be, so, yeah, if it is a tenner or around that, then I'll put it on. If it's less than a tenner, then I'm not going to bother. Um, but yeah, that's that one there anyway. Final really, really standard piece. I remember the couple of nice Royal Dalton plates to share with you. Uh, this is Old Willow. Again, I didn't research this because it's probably not going to be worth hardly anything. Probably not really worth my time putting it on. Um, Old Willow pattern made in England. That's just what it says on the back. There doesn't seem to be any proper maker on there. Um, but yeah. That's that anyway, little plate there. Um, yeah, I'd say probably not even worth putting it on on its own, really, which is a shame. But, yeah, that's that. And then, finally, we have these couple of Royal Dalton plates. Uh, there is a bit of marks there, which I'm going to have to get off. Um, you can see on the back there, Royal Dalton, or you might be able to see in the light just about. Um, and these are hand-painted in the middle. They're hand-painted. Yeah. In the middle, they're hand-painted, got like a little rose design on there, and then a few other flowers that I don't know the name of, because I'm not like a, what do we call them, horticulturist, is that right? I don't know. Um, but I'm not a flower guy, I'm not a gardener, or whatever, so, yeah, I don't know the names of flowers, other than the obvious ones, of course, and sometimes I even get them wrong, as pointed out by a few people, which is quite funny. Um, what was the one I got wrong? Not foxglove. Well, I got I got wrong one flower that was really obvious. Like I said, it was a daffodil, and it was like something else. I don't know, but I got something wrong, and it was quite funny. Um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, like really nice design in the middle there. Is this the what is this Royal Dalton? Um, I don't know whether this was the Royal Dalton. Then, the never. No, oh, I'm not sure. I have to type the. Uh, let me just very quickly type this in. That's it, Ventura. So this is the Royal Dalton Ventura plate. Um, now there is none sold, as far as I can tell, on the sold on the uh, sold here and on the listed. Uh, there is two listed from Canada for eight pound. Well, one no, one's eight pound and one's two pound. Uh, the one that's two pound has fourteen pound shipping on. One that's eight pound has twenty two pound shipping on. None listed in the UK. Um, don't really know where to go on this to be honest it's anyone's guess um maybe i'll start at f uh, 15 or 20 and then come down if i need to come down uh because there's no 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 others on so maybe i could get about 20 quid for it um but we'll see you know i'll just come down if necessary on that one quite a nice plate there as you can see um and yeah, we'll see on that one, but that's nice because obviously it's just more money from the job lot at this point. So really, really happy with this little job lot. Um, but yeah, so that's that one. And then we've got this one here, which actually says it on the back. It's Lovelace, and I'll just flip you around and then I'll give you a better view of the front. So, Royal Dalton, Lovelace, uh, and then you can see on the front there, 
that's the pattern i don't know whether this is hand painted yeah well yeah it is hand painted um so yeah nice little very kind of subtle uh floral design but it's really really nice um so yeah oh that was close <laughs> that was close oh god oh god here we go again um but yeah i researched this one very very similar story non sold as far as i can see and uh, non listed in this country but there's one listed from somewhere else abroad or somewhere on the planet at least um for 26 pound plus like 36 pound odd shipping so you know when you're basing prices off these like international listings it's very very hard to do like it's just like make up a price kind of territory with this one i might be tempted to go maybe go 30 or something because that one's on at 26 i'm like maybe i should price similar to that and just see and then if i need to if i'm shooting high on that then you know the, the lack of sales will you know make me aware and then um i can just come down you know i can come down to 20 quid i can come down to 15 quid it really doesn't bother me um so you know i may as well just start high and see on that one and yeah again nice little plate um but yeah, that's that one. So I don't think I don't think there's anything else really to talk about on those plates. But we are quite nice, um, and they're nice at the world Dalton as well. I, I like dealing with Dalton stuff. I don't know why. I just I suppose I just gravitate towards it. I've always kind of liked world Dalton stuff. It, you know, a lot of it is quality. Some of it maybe isn't as high quality, but a lot of it is fairly good quality. So that's probably why I like it. Um, but yeah, so that's that one there. Um, and I will leave it there for this haul. Oh, no, 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 wait, sorry. No, no, I'm not going to leave it there yet. Um, I've got a few of these books, haven't I? I nearly forgot. It's because they're right over there and they're completely out of my line of vision or, you know, completely out of my sight. So, yeah, I'm going to grab these books and we'll do these books very quickly. Well, actually, there's a couple of newspapers, really. Uh, rhymes for the youth, for youthful historians. Uh, there, rhymes for youthful historians. And it's got the price on there, I'm guessing. Is that, I don't know 100%, but is that one sixpence? Or maybe it isn't the price, I'm not sure. I don't know, it just says one slash six. Uh, yeah, one slash, slash six. And then inside of it, which I thought was really cool. Uh, where is it? We've got a little thing here. You know, normal thing there, some writing on this side. Um, but what does it say? Where is it? It's a bit for you. Oh, yeah. So it has this, like, little rhyming thing for all the kings and queens. Uh, is it this side? Yeah. This side. And then, the, like, the dates of the reigns and stuff down this side, which I thought was pretty cool. Or basically, like, what happened and stuff. Um, so that's really, really cool. And I think it goes through, like, most of the kings and queens. Don't know how old this book is. Uh, it might not include uh, current queen, Queen Elizabeth. If it's quite an old book, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how old it is, really. Yeah, it, do, it doesn't say how old it is, so I'd, I actually don't know. But, um, yeah, that's a very, very interesting book, that. And I think that there will be some value in that for someone. Now, I did do some research. I can't find it on there at all. Some some books you'll find you just won't be able to find on Complete and Sold. Um, so I don't really know what to go on it. Um I don't think it's going to be mega valuable or anything, but maybe I'll slap it on at 20 quid and come down if needs be. And maybe I'll end up, you know, after a year or so, taking an offer for a tenner or something. But it really doesn't matter to me. I'd rather just go high, leave it on there for a while, and then someone offer me whatever they want to offer me. Um, because it, I suppose it is going to be one of those items that there's certain people looking for it but but not too many really so um yeah so there's that book there that's interesting the book job lot i don't know whether i said at the start of this whole video it cost me 10 pound plus commission so you know it's it doesn't really matter to me prices on a lot of this stuff because i'm gonna make some decent money um because there was, a, there was a fair few books in the job lot so even if things are just 10 you know even, even if we just get a few 10 pound items out of it you know, I'm going to make some good money. So, especially with these newspapers here now. These newspapers are, I think they're all from 1965. And they're all uh, relating to Churchill. This one, you've not got a very good view of that one. But there's one here. Most of them, as I say, are relating to Churchill. You can see there, Churchill on the front there. Um, and it's obviously to do with Churchill's death in January um, of 1965. 
I have recently, or maybe a month or so ago, I sold a Churchill magazine, not too dissimilar from these at all, for £10 plus post, I think it was, or maybe even £12.99 plus post. So, you know, if I'm putting these on for a tenner a piece, I've got basically, you know, even, even let's say someone sends me an offer through and I accept less than a tenner just because I've been on for a while, I've still got some good money here. You know, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Again, is this, uh, is this Churchill one? I don't know. I think it, I think it might be Churchill one again because it's thirtieth of Jan, nineteen sixty five. So, yeah, probably what. Yeah, it is Church something saying something about Winston Churchill there. So, Churchill one there. Um, don't know whether this one is, but again, it's January, all night vigil. Um, so yeah, there's like I don't know, there's like eight nine papers there. So that'll be my money back and some, as well as that other little book there, that rhymes book. So yeah, more than happy with that little job lot. And also there's this little book here, and then I'll get on with more of the books and magazines and ephemera bits as well. Uh, but we're from the same ten pound plus uh, commission job lot in the next video. But uh, finally for this video, we've got this little book here. My first book of flowers. Now, couldn't find any completed or sold information on this when I was doing a quick search. Unfortunately, um, this isn't in great condition. You can, see, oh no, maybe not there, but you can see, oh, there you go. You can see like this is like very, very loose. It's come, come away basically. Um, so yeah, there's one of these on, probably in better condition than this one for twenty four ninety nine. Um, I'm thinking maybe going 15 quid or something on this one because it's in such, well, I wouldn't say such bad condition, but it's in fairly poor condition. Um, and if I need to come down further, then I'll come down further. Also, because there's no complete and sold information, you know, that gets me a little bit jittery. I'm like, oh, maybe that guy's pricing too high or whatever. So, or maybe there's just simply not a market for it. So, you know, I feel like maybe fourteen ninety nine is probably going to be about right, maybe even a little bit less. So, yeah, that's that one there. Anyway, it's a nice book, but I just wish it was in better condition um, because then maybe, you know, maybe I could get a bit more out of it if it was in better condition. But, yeah, it's a sh it is a shame when you get things in auction job lots, you know, obviously ceramics when we've got chips in and things like that, but also, like, books and stuff and um, just anything, really, that... You think, oh, that's that could be a nice item, or that could get X amount of money, and then just because, just when you see that little imperfection or a little that bit of damage, like, oh, that's gonna just hurt it a little bit. Um, you know, of course, you can always be so bold as to put it on at a high price anyway, even if it is, even if there is a flaw, but you know, you're probably not going to get the sale or someone's going to end up talking you down anyway. So I just generally just price it a little bit lower and account for that issue because I think that that's quite fair anyway. Um, you know, it's a fair way of doing business. You know, if there's some sort of damage or whatever, you should really try and price that in if you can. Uh, and, you know, it, it just it's just an honest way of doing business as well. But, yeah, so that's that one there. Um as I say, next video we'll be looking at the ephemera and all that sort of stuff. Um, and that'll just be continuing on from, from what we just looked at there. Um, but yeah, even just in those newspapers, I've got my £10 plus commission back and some. So the rest of it, I'll just go through with you. Um, uh, there's a lot of bits of ephemera from, I think, theatres and productions and stuff. Um, so I'll go through that as quickly as I can with you. I don't think I'll be able to research everything in that lot, unfortunately, because there's just too much to research before I do the video. Um, a lot With a lot of that stuff, I do standard pricing. I do research as much of it as possible, but if there's like little leaflets and stuff that I know aren't going to be valuable, then I'll do, you know, standard pricing and stuff. But there are a couple of bits in there that I do want to research and see... Um, you know, if there's any good money in them, especially if there's a couple of uh, bits in there that might be some, some decent money or maybe. We'll see anyway. So um, I'll do the research on them and then show you them and hopefully uh, there may be some good money in those as well. So um, I will leave it there for this one, guys, and I will see you in the next one. So don't forget, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Um, if, oh, what's the, I always forget my little tagline now. Don't forget, if you haven't already, please subscribe. 
like the video, and put a comment down below. That's, that's the one. We got there in the end. So I will leave it there, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.